guys, I'm Darcy with Indie Hanging Company and I get a lot of questions at the shop as how to properly prep, paint, and wax furniture. So I thought I would do a couple of tutorials. So I did a tutorial last week on properly prepping, specifically an old piece of furniture. Um, sometimes I don't prep besides scuffing it up with sandpaper and then I start painting. It just depends on the piece. Um, so anyways, you can watch that video if you want to see how to properly prep a piece of furniture. But today we're going to start painting. So this um, cool old piece was found in a client's barn and we're going to paint it. I'm going to use Paris Gray. I have a quart here of Paris Gray. I think I'll do some old white, maybe some fun things on the top too, but I'm going to start with the Paris Gray. I have my Annie Slim brush. This is a medium sized brush. I love the brushes. They are not necessary, but they're amazing. Um, you get very few brush strokes. Um, they, they work awesome. You can get in all the nooks and crannies. Um, they're phenomenal. So we're going to use our brush and our paint. And um, this piece, I get really free rain on it. <laughs> the customer, um, she came to me. I went and I looked in her kitchen or living room to see kind of the color scheme she has going on. And so free rain can be really fun. It can be a little stressful. I hope she loves it, but we're just going to start. Um, I'm going to start with two lighter coats. I like to do thinner coats anyways, but um, this piece has some naturally occurring <laughs> crackle finish, which I want to preserve. So um, I'll, I'll start and then I'll bring the camera in a little closer so you can see. Um, but this paint is a little thicker than what you might be used to, um, but really. It's as easy as just getting the paint on there. Okay guys, I've got a close up here for you. I want you to see this um, piece has some awesome crackling. So again, I'm just doing a super light coat. I actually thin down the paint with some water because I want to see all of this texture. Um, I'm just brushing it on. This is Paris Gray, and it's covering beautifully. Um, so I'm going to just finish painting this. And again, you can see why I love the brushes, because I'm able to get into all these cool grooves, and I don't have drips and streaks, and they're awesome. Okay guys, I got this beauty painted, um, two very light coats of Paris Gray. I did some old ochre on the feet here, some dipped feet. I did an old ochre wash on the top because it was a cool wash or a cool wood top. Um, so now I'm going to take some sandpaper. I have 220 grit. Um, I like to use a finer grit for when I'm distressing. I'd rather work a little harder and have it look more natural than have like the scratch marks and whatnot from a coarser grit. Um, and when I distress, I like to distress just along the edges. I want it to look naturally worn. Um, and to me, that looks natural when, when it's scuffed up on the edges. You know, underneath was this cool yellow. And I want to reveal that. I also want to bring through some of the wood. Um, so I'm just going to kind of go really along the whole piece and it's a personal preference. Um, so I'm going to do that along the whole piece and being careful to not do too much on the flat surface here because I don't feel that looks as natural. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and distress that, get it to exactly where I want it, and then I'm going to seal it with the wax. 